Hi. What is the problem that we want to solve with dynamic agility for large complex solutions? Every agile approach has a network structure behind. And I would say that this network structure is so essential like water is for fishes. Um, the agile method that you're choosing is, you could say, essentially just like the way to orchestrate the network structure. But if the network structure is not in place, then you are not able probably to work in an agile mode. When you think of a scrum team, for instance, then immediately after the sprint planning, this scrum team goes into this network mode saying everyone is collaborating with everyone else wherever necessary. Everyone is doing whatever helps to create the value that everyone agreed on in the sprint planning. Now, when you have a problem to solve with like several agile teams, each team has a network structure in its own. But how do you coordinate these agile teams? And when you look back in history, like 15 years ago, the answer was pretty much the same. It was make the teams independent enough so that they can decide, work, deliver each on its own. Which worked for some of the agile teams, but for some it didn't. And so like there were problems with an inherent complexity that meant that you couldn't get rid of some of the dependencies because if you want to cut these dependencies out, then you will lose a lot of the value that you want to create in the first place. So over the course of time, there were several scaling frameworks offering a network structure on top of Agile teams saying, hey, um, you have to plan, coordinate, manage the dependencies together. And then on top of the network structure of the Agile teams, you can establish another layer of network structure, so to speak, to orchestrate these teams so that the teams can collaborate in an agile mode. Now this worked and um, the companies created teams of agile teams. Now they have a lot of teams of agile teams but how to orchestrate these? And the answer is pretty much the same like 15 years ago saying you have to make these teams of agile teams independent enough so that they can decide work, deliver each on its own. Even though we have now much better tools like value stream analysis and things which help us to come up with better answers to the questions of how to make these teams of agile teams more independent, the answer is still the same. You have to make the teams independent enough so that they can work on their own. Now, this is probably like what we saw in the past with the agile teams and the network structure on top of the agile teams like this approach of making the teams of agile teams independent enough is probably helping some of these teams of agile teams but for some it does not help because the complexity is so high that you cannot get rid of the dependencies between these teams of agile teams without losing some of the value that you wanted to create in the first place. And so the problem that we want to solve is to say, how can we come up with, an, with a higher level network structure, like a network structure on top of these teams of Agile teams so that these teams of Agile teams, again, can work together, collaborate, coordinate themselves um, in an Agile way. And what we are trying to do with our dynamic agility for large complex solution training is to look deeper into patterns that helped in such an approach of creating network structures on this higher level. If you're interested, please join us.